Hi everyone, this is Professor Mayunga and you are watching Uda Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, this is our 35th exercise. You can see we have four different views. This is the front one, this is top and this is side view. Excluding that one, we are having one isometric view also, right? From these different figures, it is evident that it is better to start from the front plane. And initially, we'll make this slot and we'll make one half of this portion and that will be mirrored on the other side. And finally, we'll extrude this one to different depths, right? So, without wasting time, let us start our modeling using Autodesk Fusion 360. First of all, we need to create a new design and we can save it by the name of Exercise 35. And, and we can save it to a specific folder by the name of Fusion. Let us save this one. You can see it is already saved by the name of exercise 35. Now, as told before, we can start sketching from front end. As the object is symmetric, we can initiate one construction line. Let us start it from here. Let us select that line and hit X to make it construction line. Done. Right. Now, let us see the drawing again for initiating the sketch. Initially, we need to start from the slot and you can see here the distance between the centers of the slot is equal to 22 millimeter and radius of the external slot is actually 7.5 millimeter inside that one we can make the same drawing by an offset of specific distance right initially we'll make the sketch without having any specific dimensions later on we'll provide actual dimensions from a smart dimension right so let us start it initially we'll do a sketch one slot let us start slot from here different types of slots are available better to start with the center point slot this is a center point and let us start from here this is the slot right now we can put smart dimension to this one total distance of this one from bottom line it is 68.9 let us see the dimensions again the distance from bottom to top actually it is 58.9 plus 10 it is 68.9 millimeter okay fine this is made now we need to find the distance between the centers this 22 millimeter and also the radius of this one is actually 7.5 millimeter done inside this one we need to make the same object with an offset of 2.5 millimeter let us see the drawing you can see from this drawing it is evident that it will be offset by a distance of 2.5 millimeter right because here the radius is 5 millimeter so we need to offset the external sketch by 2.5 millimeter okay select the sketch let us offset this one by 2.5 millimeter in the opposite direction so flip the direction from here it will be minus 2.5 millimeter done right now we need to create some lines we will make these lines arbitrarily from here actually 50 millimeter we need to Make this horizontal line 50 enter again we need to move up by 15 millimeter 15 enter now we can create an arc to join this point with this point right so create arc it will be three point arc let us join the middle of this one with this one and we need to provide some smart dimension to this one right initially we are making this one at random now we can point the radius of this one as 50 millimeter done sketch is fully defined right now we need to make the same sketch on the left hand side so we can make a mirror of this select mirror select the specific lines now we need to select the mirror line mirror line is selected done right sketch is fully defined now we can do one thing inside this one we can make one horizontal line because different sections of this sketch to be extruded by different depths right so let us make another line from here the sketch is fully defined as the color is black right so we can finish the sketch and that to be extruded with different depths let us see the drawing you can see the slot section should be extruded by a depth of 25 millimeter and the middle portion should be extruded by a depth of 5 millimeter and finally the base part should be extruded to a depth of 30 millimeter right so from top you can see this one the slot will be extruded to a depth of 
25 millimeter then this cup section or you can say this part will be extruded by a depth of 5 millimeter and finally the base part this one should be extruded to a depth of 30 millimeter okay right so start extrusion from here let us select this space and this one should be extruded in the forward direction to a depth of 25 millimeter and you are considering this one as a new body done now the remaining portion should be extruded by different depths so we can select the sketch from here it is hidden we can make it on let us select the intermediate space and we can start extrusion from here that will be extruded in the reverse direction by a depth of 5 millimeter and we are joining this one with the parent body okay done again the base part should be extruded so starting with extrusion select that base part and it will be extruded in the opposite direction by a depth of 30 millimeter done we are joining this one with the parent body so it is a single component right done it is ready can make the sketch off right this is made you can see the drawing again next to that we need to provide this curve surface and for sketching this one we need to start sketching from right view and from this surface it will move up by 5 millimeter and from this line it will move in the left hand side by 10 millimeter in between you need to provide an arc of 50 millimeter right so select right pen and we're initiating this one with the line we're making this one at random later on by providing relations we can make it perfect and also this one needs to be move up by some distance right this is arbitrary only now we need to put some relations to make this one perfect right let us select these specific lines this line and select this line again it should be collinear done you can see this is already collinear right let us see the drawing again this will be coinciding with this line again and it will move by a distance of 10 millimeter and this one will move by 5 millimeter right okay so thing is we need to provide a smart dimension of this one and this will be collinear with this line right so select the specific lines this is collinear again right now we can provide smart dimension to this one this will be 10 millimeter right and again this one will be 5 millimeter now we need to provide an arc in between let us create an arc it will be three point arc let us join from here and this one and we need to provide this arc here itself right the color is not completely black so it is not fully defined right so we need to provide some other dimensions also so what can do is you can put smart dimension from here to this point again it will be like 25 enter and from here also we can put the distance this one will be 30 now this is completely defined you can see this is also fully defined right now we need to wear the arc of this one right this is 50 millimeter done sketch is fully defined now finish the sketch and that to be extruded to a specific depth let us see the drawing again this portion should be extruded to a depth of 10 millimeter you can see here this is the extruded depth for this portion right and we need to extrude this one from the middle plane symmetrically right so in direction you can select this one as symmetric and from measurement we need to select whole length and the depth of extrusion will be 10 millimeter and we are joining this one with the parent body so the operation is joined okay done right you can see next to that we need to provide a hole on the surface right initially we will draw an arbitrary circle and later on we will provide the smart dimension to get the exact location of this one so let us select that surface and we are starting some circle on that location this is arbitrary location you can see the circle will be located from this corner at a distance of 15 millimeter and from this one it will be again at a distance of 15 millimeter 
on both sides it will be at a distance of 15 millimeter and the diameter of this one is actually 15 millimeter two cycles to be provided at this location and at this location so you can provide the dimensions of this one so smart dimension diameter of this one will be 15 millimeter enter now we need to provide the location of this from here to here this one will be 15 millimeter again the distance from this horizontal line also it will be 15 millimeter sketch is fully defined now the same thing can be mirrored on the other side also while creating mirror we need to provide one construction line so starting with line this is the symmetric location and let us select the line and hit x to make it construction line right now we need to mirror this one on the left hand side so starting with mirror select the circle and we need to select the mirror line again mirror line is selected it is mirrored already done right and the dimensions are fully defined so we can finish the sketch and that to be extruded in the downward direction to remove material from this object right so starting with extrusion select that specific surfaces and we need to extrude this one in the downward direction from distance you can select this one as to all it will cut the whole material from this one okay done this is made let us see anything else is remaining or not is done nothing is remaining right to provide appearance to this one let us hit a as a shortcut of appearance and you can select metallic appearance to this one let us select metal and we're considering this one to be made up of polished brass okay close it right done so this is our model you can see it this was a very simple model and we initiated the sketch from front view and that was extruded to different depths the top slot part was extruded by a depth of 25 millimeter then this middle part was extruded by a depth of 5 millimeter and the base was extruded by a depth of 30 millimeter next to that on that right plane we provided this shape and that was extruded from middle pin on both sides symmetrically by a depth of 10 millimeter and finally we provided a hole at the surface and that was mirrored on the other side okay so with this one we'll conclude our 35th exercise thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye